You know, when you're camping, there's not much better things to do than eat. At least uh, things tend to taste better when you're camping, and it's more of a family affair. Um, you know, usually when you're at work and your kids are coming in and out, you know, nobody has time to sit down together uh, to eat a meal. But when you're camping, you usually have time to do that. Well, one of the uh, best things to have when you're camping is something like this. Uh, this is a Dutch oven. It's made by Lodge, which for uh, my money is the best ones you can buy. Uh, the a Dutch ovens actually come in two styles. Uh, this is more of the home owner style rather than the camping style. But for me, this seems to have a little more versatility, which is why we went with this. And what I mean is, let me open this up and I'll show you. This, this style looks just like something that you would put in your oven. Now the the one the style that you would use for campfires usually has a lip around here and that lip is designed so that you can put coals on the top. Also it usually has feet on the bottom which this one doesn't have. And the feet on the bottom holds it up from the coals a little bit in the campfire. The, the issue though is you are going to have a hard time putting one of those in an oven. This one just fits in our RV's oven. So we can use it in the oven inside if we have an inclement weather day or we can take this thing outside and throw it in the fire even though it doesn't have legs you know you can just put on a bed of coals or find a couple logs or something to put it on and it'll work okay. Now we use this almost exclusively when we go camping because I tell you we cook almost everything imaginable in here. Now one of the things I like about this one, and in fact if you look at this we really have to, it's got a little bit of rust showing which is okay because we've been using this. What you really need to do is when you wash this out uh, is to season it again by just putting a little vegetable oil on it, you know, and that will take care of it before you use it the next time. So before we use this the next time we'll have to do that. We just threw this in our box um, after we cleaned it. Uh, one of the advantages that this has over some of the other ones is you notice these little, um, I don't know, I guess you call them stalactites or, or um, little raised areas. Well, if you can envision when this thing is setting on here and moisture is rising from what you're baking, it's going to collect on the top. And I don't know how many times you pulled out a, a lid, you know, and you got moisture in here. Well, what happens is the moisture collects on these tips and it drips back into the, in, in the thing you're cooking, which really makes for things being a lot more moist. You will not believe how moist a cake will be if you cook it in one of these. Uh, this is a qu uh, two quart uh, model. This will usually feed maybe four people with one serving of whatever you're making. And when we do two people, either we don't fill it as full or we make two meals out of it and throw it in the fridge and have the second meal a day or so later. Now the other thing you're going to want, uh, along with uh, your Dutch oven, is you want to get a good pair of leather gloves. Now these are made by Lodge as well. You don't have to buy the Lodge ones. In fact, I've got a pair of uh, Hobart welding gloves. They do this, they do just as well. The, the important thing is you want something that has leather. Um, now you can still feel the heat through the leather if you hang on to it too long, but at least the leather will allow you maybe 30 seconds to pick the thing up, take it to where you're going without feeling too much heat. Because this thing, you know, being cast iron, it's going to retain heat. So um, good pair of gloves, cast iron, you know, the gloves these are maybe 12 bucks. I actually got these free when I bought my welder. So, you know, just whatever works for you. You can get a, a trivet, which, you know, you can set this on top so you're not burning the surface that you put it on. But what we usually do is when we bring it in, if we're bringing it in from the outside, we're going to set it on top of our, our uh, the grill on the uh, stove. Or if we leave it outside, we're going to set it on something that's not going to burn the table. Um, so, you know, that's a good handy thing to have. You can get little things that, you know, pick up the top, the lid and stuff, but, you know, 
these work just as good for that. So you don't need to buy those things, in my opinion. Uh, so if you think you're going to use the oven, or you're going to use the Dutch oven inside um, on a uh, in your RV's oven on an inclement day, as well as out in the in the uh, coals of a, of a uh, campfire, then consider buying one of the style that do not have the feet and do not have the ring on there because they're not as high and they may fit in your oven a little bit better. But if you're going to do exclusively um, out on the uh, campfire, then consider one of the other ones. Now, one of the reasons we also use the inside oven sometimes besides inclement weather is we can control the temperature with some things that are a little more temperature sensitive, um, you know, that might be a good idea anyway. So anyway, I've talked enough about this just simple little gadget. Um, and, you know, try one if you've never done it before. I mean, you'll find that the food um, is much better.